Hello, YouTube. YouTube. I am the Super Saiyan Diclonius, and to start this video off, I am giving a special shout out to Old Man Reacts. Uh, on account of her reactions to my videos, my tiny little channel has grown from less than 200 to approaching 300 at a steady pace. And one of my new subscribers, the Dark Innovator, has actually given me a request. He wants to hear my hot take on the Lost Primarchs. And I do have an original Lost Primark idea that I've been trying to find an excuse to write about in my fanfic sites for a while now, and since I'm probably never going to find the time, I'll just talk about him in a video. So, for my uh, Lost Primark, I'm going to go with the 11th Primark, just because I like that better than going with the second. And, um, I do not have a name for him. I can't think of one, at least not yet, so I'm just going to keep calling him the 11th. Feel free to suggest a name in the comments below as I describe him. Uh, to start off uh, with that description, my Primark is blind. Like, his... Emperor given special powers that he sees through the warp. So he sees your soul rather than seeing you. And the reason for that is that this Primarch's purpose was to be a foil for Conrad Curse. Like the original plan before things went south uh, is that this Primarch would uh, team up with Curse. He would judge a planet by seeing the souls of its inhabitants to determine whether or not if it's worth saving or if he should just let Curse take care of it. And that would have greatly mitigated the damage the curse caused before he turned traitor. However, there is a drawback to who would this power that led to his eventual downfall. Because he sees your soul rather than seeing you, he cannot tell the difference between an orc and a necromundan. Your, their souls look the same. And uh, add this to the fact that he landed on an alien planet and did not determine that they were Xenos, but rather that they were curious creatures that took him in, and he had a soft spot for the non-human. This only escalated when a human pirates came and attacked the planet, and he could tell that these guys weren't just being xenophobic, they were just being cruel for the hell of it, so he helped these aliens fight against humanity. Not good. Now, before we go further into this, I'm, I never was of the opinion that the Emperor just didn't tolerate the alien. I do know that it doesn't make sense that he would slaughter all aliens, have his Astartes and Primarch slaughter all aliens, but I think the reason he did that, the reason he made the Order suffer not the alien to live, is because he... I'm one of those that believes the Emperor foresaw the coming heresy, and also foresaw that even if, if he beat you know, most of the Imperium into submission, the majority of those that sided with Horus did so because they, they did so because they were un uncompliant. They were unsatisfied with the Imperium. They wanted to go in a different direction, and most of these were just being selfish. They just wanted to rule their plans in their own way, which was, which would probably be more tyrannical than what the Imperium was up to, but if the Emperor had spared alien races, even one, even the most innocent, the xenophobic portions of the Imperium would have sided with Horus, and the half of the Imperium that turned to chaos would have become anywhere between two-thirds to seven eighths of the Imperium, and even with alien allies, the Imperium would not have survived that. So the Emperor had no choice but to order the extermination and intolerance of all alien life in order to keep the Imperium at a numerical advantage so it could survive all these 10,000 years long enough to actually become desperate enough to see that being xenophobic may be counterproductive to their survival. Well, to a degree, of course. Now, I have two scenarios for how this could play out. One is uh, uh, the Primarch and his... Uh, the 11th Primarch and his alien friends won that war, and the Emperor had them eradicated right then and there. Another is the pirates annihilated the, the majority, if not the entirety, of the alien race, and... Uh, 
uh, the Emperor discovered the Primarch Arc is standing on a planet alone. He knows what happened, knows what kind of person this Primarch is, but still employed him until a later date when he discovered another innocent alien race and tried to save it and then exterminated him. The only real difference between these two is how the Primarch would look, because if he just stayed on one planet and died there, he would have been relatively primitive. If, uh, like uh, any other Primarch before they were discovered by the Imperium, and I just really wanted to talk about my design for this post-Imperium Primarch because I really like like, what I came up with. Most Primarchs, if not all of them, use melee weapons primarily. Like, some of them will have sidearms, like I know Corvus Corax had a couple of pistols, but he favored his power claw. Uh, as uh, Robute Gilliman had underbarrel bolters uh, like Armanius Calgar, but he favors power fists and then his father's sword, etc., etc. The eleventh Primarch is a sniper, a blind sniper. Yes, but and he fights intelligently, like he fights uh, like a super soldier and not a super knight. And another badass thing about this Primarch is that he is so good at sniping that he can arch a shot. Like, you know how uh, how uh, most bowmen can arch the bow up and uh, shoot you from much further than the bow can shoot straight? This Primarch can shoot you from miles away across a mountain. That's how badass he is as a, as a blind sniper. Because, yes, I had to do some over-the-top, ridiculous combat style to fit a Primarch without copy-pasting something that already exists, like Conrad and Corvus, uh, Lehman, Russ, and Angron, etc., etc. So, yeah, that's my take take on the Lost Primarchs, or at least one of them. Personally, uh, if I have to add the second one to this video, I would like to say that I've always thought it would be interesting to see what a legion would be like if their primarch died before being discovered by the emperor so that's uh, me uh, just uh, quickly adding the second primarch to make it a full lost primarchs video other than that all i gotta say is it's diclonius old man reacts diclone us say it with me now diclonius Goodbye, YouTube.